Uh, hey guys, I'm Joe. Um, I had recently, by recently, I mean probably about a year ago, put up um, some guitar tabs on ultimateguitar.com for uh, the shiny toy gun song, Money For That. And um, I said I would create a video after some people asked me to, and um, I didn't. So I thought that now is as good as time as any to create this video. So, um, I actually did make one um, a couple days ago, but it ended up being 19 minutes long, and YouTube said no, only 15 minutes or less. So, I'm going to do this kind of quick, I guess, and um, if you need any information further, uh, you can just go online, I'll put the link somewhere, um, and to my uh, tabs, and you can go look it up that way. Well, first of all, um, this is a, not really a Fender. It looks like it, but it's not. It's a kind of cheapo, but it works. It gets the job done. So, um, first I'm going to be doing rhythm for you. Um, rhythm is actually really simple throughout the entire song. Um, I'll do the first verse, including the intro. Um, the first part is palm muted, and then it's, um, you know, just not palm muted, I guess. All right, so here we go. First, it's seven, um, open, two, and four. It's the first part of the verse, so here we go. Then the lead guitar comes in, which I'll do a little bit later. Um, but then after that, um, it goes and does a little bit more stuff. Um, turn my amp up a little bit so you guys can hear a little bit better. So, um, I'll go ahead and play the first verse to the chorus, and then I'll stop it at the chorus. So, here we go. first verse and I prefer to sometimes play all downstrokes whenever I'm playing the verse or just the lead guitar in general um, I find that it kind of gives her a nicer tone than going up and down and you know stuff like that so um, um, I also put on my tabs a lead guitar like a second guitar there really isn't much of one especially during the the chorus um, I put one in there to kind of go along with the synths um, kind of makes it look or sound a little bit better. So, um, so go ahead and play the lead for you. Um, it's kind of simple since there's not that much of a lead in the verse. I'll go ahead and play the for the lead for the verse, and then I'll go straight into the chorus. So keep up with me. And uh, this is after, you know, after he just says "School Bells Ring" in 1994. Um, it does a little cool little thing that's four seven six. And it uh, on the lead, and it sounds kind of like this. And uh, I put my own vibratos in there, just because it makes it sound a little bit better. So there's that. And for the chorus, I basically have nothing but octaves. No, no fancy soloing, because I'm not that good of a guitarist. But, um, but here is the chorus. I better do the chorus for the rhythm first. All right, chorus for the rhythm. Um, same general pattern, it's seven, two, four, zero. So it would sound something like this. open uh, after you play seven two four then you play open um, you know don't strum quite as much as you were whenever you're playing the other ones just kind of 
do 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 like not too much if that kind of that sound kind of helps you so here is the uh, the lead for the chorus what I imagine the lead to be um, octaves at 12 11 um, 9 7 kind of simple so here's what the octaves are gonna sound like <laughs> Also, on my tab, I um, entered that you can go descending, but one thing that I said you could do is you could go all the way up to um, 17, 19, whatever that is. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and play that for you really quick. <laughs> Um, you know, like at first you'll play the descending, and you'll play descending, then go up to the 19th, because that's kind of what you'll end on. You might also want to do some vibratos as well. Um, again, your pick. So, now we go into verse 2. Um, same thing for the rhythm, same exact everything, but for the lead, um, it starts off doing the 4 7 6 dealio, so. Um, then it goes, does that really weird thing where he climbs up the neck, tremolo picking, using some effect that I actually have no idea what it is, but hopefully someone can figure that out. You put it in a comment box, or, um, or what have you. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and do that right now, shall we? Alright, the lead for the verse, here we go. <laughs> Um, again, sorry guys if I like mess up and stuff. And I really haven't played this song in a while, and I, I know that's bad, um, especially like if I'm going to be doing a um, YouTube video of it. But it is my first video. Well, it's kind of my second. My first one didn't really make it on YouTube, but that's beside the point. Um, and also, after after he does that, yeah, that thing, um, in the verse, after he d again does the four four seven six, he does um, harmonics on the uh, uh, fifth, fourth, and third string. And I'm going by the big E string as the sixth string on that, just in case anybody's confused. Um, he does that a couple times, you know, when he goes in my head, you know, he he actually sings it and not says it. Um, and so the lead would sound something like... Uh, <laughs> sound a whole lot better than that because I really don't know what I was doing. Anyways, um, um, same chorus, again, not much has changed. Now, the one thing that I will tell you about is the little interlude. The interlude, the interlude is very kind of weird. Um, it might have some guitar in it. I, I'm pretty sure it does, but I don't really know what that is. So what I did is I inserted, um, octaves. So, here is what I play. Again, this is on the tabs in case, you know, I'm playing too fast or you can't understand me or I don't know, something like that. Anyways, here's how the octaves go. And I'm not using my middle finger, just have it here because it was, it's kind of weird, you know, putting it back behind the neck. Um, so, here I, here I go. This is uh, the interlude part one. <laughs> Distortion, and he this 
it, with, for the rhythm, it's... And this is also when the rhythm comes in. The rhythm plays the exact same thing as the chorus. There's no change. The rhythm is actually a little bit boring. But it's pretty fun to play. Anyways. Um, but the lead for the interlude goes a little something like this. <laughs> chorus. Chorus is exactly the same as before. And fun stuff. Now, I would play you the song right now, full with, uh, you know, the rhythm, and then I'd play the lead, but I'm at 10 minutes, and it says 50 seconds right now. Oh my goodness. That means I would not have enough time, and YouTube would, again, reject my video for being too long. So, I'll go ahead and end it here. Now, if you have any questions, you can, I would say, call or email, but please don't call me. And, um, you can message me, though, on YouTube or on the Ultimate Guitar website, um, if you deem that necessary. Even if it's something like, hey, um, what's up? So, all right, everyone, enjoy this video. I hope it helps a lot of bands. Um, yeah, I know I'm trying to get mine started. Um, I might post stuff, probably not, though. Um, so, yeah, to all you bands out there, you know, keep it, keep it going. Um, stay cool and stuff. So, alright, I'm out and stuff. <laughs>